Hello gorgeous soul, welcome to your weekly astrology for the week starting the 9th of July. It is an even more full-on week than normal as we have the eclipse of the sun and the new moon bringing about huge and vast change for us all. Here's your weekly astrology. Hello Virgo. Even though this is a very intense week, uh, you got plenty of good news at the beginning of the week and that's because Venus, the planet of love, is entering your sign. Happy days. You know, you have uh, an energy coming from the cosmos towards you that makes you a love magnet, that draws positive experiences to you, that, that helps you balance relationships, helps you to compromise um, helps you work on your relationship to yourself, helps you love yourself more. How do you feel about you? Do you love yourself? Are you your own cheerleader? Do you look after your beautiful soul? Because, you know, that's your first commitment. You know, when you look after yourself, then you can look after other people. When you love yourself, life flows much easier. So Venus is coming in and giving a great big kiss and saying, I love you. Please love you too. Also, it, it helps make relationships smoother uh, we're able to see both sides of the story. It's fabulous. Now, Jupiter, the planet of good fortune, is going direct. You may have been frustrated a little bit with plans that have gone on hold. Suddenly, you have all sorts of new ideas, new possibilities. You're opening up. Um, there's a good vibe and all sorts of interesting conversations coming your way. On the 12th, Venus is trying Uranus, something unexpected is heading towards you. It could be to do with another country, somebody very different to you. Uh, it could be to do with learning, adventure, uh, something exciting anyway around the 12th. But do avoid arguing with anyone because the sun is opposing Pluto. Having said that, it could make you quite frisky. You might find yourself meeting someone and the frisky games begin early uh, because there's a sort of wild, spontaneous energy around you on the 12th. Now, we do have the eclipse of the sun and the new moon which is very intense for all of us. And the focus for you is how you behave in groups and in collaborations. Now, we're, all of us are seeing our shadow side, something that's hidden in whatever area it's affecting us. And for you, you know, that's the area. However, and also maybe, are you standing in your power enough in groups of people and in collaborations? Do you have faith in your voice and what you can, what you bring to the table because, you know, Pluto is saying to you, do you know what? I'm, I'm going to help you transform your idea of romance, intimate relationships and creativity. I'm going to show you, you know, a new cycle when it comes to that stuff. And Neptune is really trying to help you have more soulful relationships and understand the lesson that your intimate relationships have for your life journey. Profound, revealing and intense. Uh, finally, Venus is trying Saturn, Venus in your sign, trying Saturn in your relationship zone. You may well commit to someone this week, or certainly you know what you want to commit to by the end of the week. Take care, gorgeous. Do visit me on Instagram, at Michelle Knight. Um, follow me there for daily tarot readings and astrological updates. And I'm loving Instagram, so I'd love to see you and chat with you. Take care, and I'll speak to you soon. so much for watching please like and share if you do and i've got a little present for you if you go to horoscope.co.uk i now have a, not only a free chart wheel but free birth chart interpretation so pop along and have a look take care and i'll speak to you soon mm -hmm.